So the quant mod package for R has been put together to simplify some of the operations in the workflow for analysing data from financial markets. So rather than developing a whole series of functions from scratch, it's really a series of wrapper functions that allows us to download data for a particular stock symbol, perform some basic operations with the data for the symbol, such as aggregation to weekly or monthly summaries, or to extract, say, the high or low price within a particular day, as well as producing some graphs to provide an idea of the change in the stock price over a period of time, as well as adding various technical indicators to the graph. So the first thing we need to do to make use of this package is to attach it to our current session. So the package itself is called QuantMod and there are various other packages, as we can see here, that have been loaded as part of the system. Now it's very straightforward to download some data. We make use of the function getSymbols. So let's say we want to download information about the IBM stock price. We provide a string with the symbol IBM to the function. <clears throat> and then we will see that it's been downloaded and saved as an object called IBM. So if we print that to the console, we can scroll all the way up here, we'll see the data has been loaded from the start of 2007. So we've got opening price for that day, the highest price and the lowest price available on that day, as well as the closing price, volume traded and an adjusted index. So it's got that information across that whole period for the days where the market was open. So let's say we want to get information about a different stock, and this time we want to get it over a shorter period of time. So if we take, for example, a look at the BP stock, and we want to look at that from, say, the end of March 2010. So we make use of the from argument and specify date in year, month, day format. And then we can also specify an end date. So let's take it up to the end of May. So we see that that's saved as an object called BP. And we can take a look here and see that we get the same information across that period. And we can see the quite heavy activity that was taking place near the end of April and the start of May 2010. So what we can then do is let's say we want to subset this data and only look at a particular period. So if we take the IBM data and want to extract the part for 2009, we use the square brackets to indicate that we want to take a subset and then we put 2009 in there and QuantMod works out the period of data that we're interested in looking at. So what we can also do is summarize the IBM data on a weekly basis with the two weekly function and now we'll see here that we've got information every seven days rather than every day so it's done some aggregation over those periods. If we want to go to a further level we could actually look at a monthly summary <coughs> and as we see here it's taken down even further so we've got 12 bits of summary information for each of the years from 2007 to 2010. So if we want to extract some particular information from our data objects, such as the highest price on a particular day, we can make use of the function high. So if we do that for the BP data, we'll see that we've got the highest price on that particular day. So it's only that column that's been extracted. <coughs> What we can also do is to look at the returns of a particular period. So we could look at the daily returns on a particular stock. So this is the percentage change from the previous day. So that gives us a column of percentages, although it's done as proportions rather than percentages. So then rather than just doing it as a daily return, we could do it, for example, as a weekly return and this provides information at a higher level than the previous one. So then what we might be interested in doing is rather than just producing some of these numerical summaries is to create various graphs. Now there's a function called chart series and we really specify the name of the symbol 
of the series we're interested in and that simple call produces this rather complicated plot making use of the data that we've saved in that symbol object. So we can see various periods of activity and quite a large change between the middle of 2008 to the start of 2009, quite a steep decrease in the share price for IBM. Now an alternative type of graph we could look at, the bar chart, we use a similar syntax, so very straightforward to produce, and we'll see that it's essentially the same plot but looks slightly different as we've got chunkier blocks rather than the previous one. And then what we could <coughs> also do is a candle chart, and if we do that for the BP stock, look at it, we can see that it's got these boxes with colours indicating whether there was a decrease or increase from the previous day's trading. So we can see that there's a particular day where there was a large amount of volatility in those share prices comparison in comparison to all the other days where the stock had been traded in this period. Now what we could do is add various technical indicators to this chart. So if we wanted to add an exponential moving average, for example, use the function add EMA. Don't need to specify any arguments because QuantMod knows that we want to add this exponential moving average to the plot that we've currently got. So then if we wanted to add a different indicator, we can just place that on top, such as the SAR indicator, which is the parabolic stop and reverse. And we see here now, using those circles, is this other indicator on our graph. And there are various other indicators, so I think about 18 in total, that are available through the QuantMod package.